Welcome to the very first Saturday session. Some of you have been taking part in Verse for Today. That's where we share a, a verse from the Bible each day by text. The idea is to, um, to keep in touch by sharing hope. Uh, the idea of Saturday session is to have a little longer on Saturday morning to think about something a little more deeply. For the first session, I'd like us to consider that you are amazing you may very well respond to that by saying yeah okay but actually i don't feel amazing maybe that's because i hear or see people criticizing me all the time it just wears me down maybe it's because at some point or maybe on a regular basis people have who, who maybe people I should have trust who should have been able to trust people have mistreated me and uh, not done right by me maybe things have gone a bit wrong in my life and uh, maybe I've tried something to help me get by and something like drink or drugs have wrecked my life there's many things actually that can wreck our lives uh, getting into debt gambling um, smoking all sorts of things can make a mess of my life uh, and it just makes me feel bad and I just don't feel amazing. Maybe bad stuff has happened to me. It was all going swimmingly well. And then um, something happened completely unexpected and life just seemed to pile on uh, the, the, the problems one after another and it's all gone horribly wrong. And actually, maybe um, I see what's inside me and I... Uh, look at and see and think yeah but I might look all right on the outside but if you really knew me I, I don't know what you'd think well it's good to stop and realize that God sees things differently he doesn't look at the things in the same way that we do we do tend to be hard on ourselves we see what's inside the things that we hide from other people because we'd be too ashamed to for people to see what what we see when we look inside and when we look at other people conversely we see what people want us to see we don't see what's going on inside them either also uh, god tends to look on the things that we think are unimportant so we may not think much of it but god sees when we do the the little things for other people the arm around the shoulder the the little quiet word of encouragement whatever it might be we 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 often tend to to ignore that and not think about it uh, just the smile that we give uh, on occasions uh, 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 smiles that just make people feel differently and um, God also knows when we're struggling to give those smiles. He knows how we just just um, struggle to get up after we've been knocked down. And he feels and understands for us. Um, I want to share with you just for a moment uh, something that my daughter Ruth shared with me a while back. It was a dream that she'd had. And we were thinking about someone we both know and love uh, who was having a hard time and could be uh, could could at the time be a little bit difficult to uh, to get alongside and help. And it was uh, an interesting dream. It, it, not quite like this picture here with this uh, uh, cowboy with his uh, uh, gun firing at the enemy and being hailed with arrows. But, but this person was in in the dream was actually walking along a path. Uh, pressing on in a hail of arrows uh, and just getting on with life and, and making it happen um, and I think sometimes God looks at us and where we think we're really struggling where we think we're not doing very well God just sees all the trials and troubles and tribulations that are coming our way and says it's all right I see I understand I know and actually uh, what God wants to say to me is uh, other people might look at us and say, oh, you're worthless. Or we might hear a soundtrack that says you're worthless. Or we might say it to ourselves and say we're worthless. God says, no, you are precious. He also says you are honoured by me. We might think 
that we are despised, not listened to, nobody bothers with us. But God says, no, you are honoured by me. And he says, you are loved by me. And we might think nobody cares, nobody would notice. Maybe the world would, maybe we think the world would be better off without us. But God says, no, I love you. Where does it say that? When did God say that? Well, this is where we turn to um, a, a book in the Bible in the Old Testament, a book called Isaiah. Isaiah was a prophet who was writing 600 years before Jesus, so about 2,000 600 years ago um maybe 700 and if you turn to that if, if you find yourself a bible and, and look that book up and look for chapter 43 and verse 4 you'll find that god says there you are precious and honored in my sight and i love you you can look it up and find it for yourself um you might notice that that doesn't look quite right there's a space in there and it looks like it's sort of only part of it and you'd be completely right and this is a good reason why when someone tells you that the bible says something it's never a bad idea to go away and look it up for yourself and find out for yourself what it actually says and there's always a, a context to things that are in the bible so what's the context here and the context is that uh, I, um, Isaiah is talking about uh, a group of people the Israelites who have had a bad time they've been they were once a, a really amazing empire um, we don't think of Israel as being a great empire but they were in the uh, about 400 years before this and things had got gradually worse and worse and worse and they'd ended up being conquered and taken off into captivity and they had a really bad time they were treated badly they were not treated as precious they were not honored at all uh, they were not cared for um, they were treated as rubbish and god comes into that and says since you are precious and honored in my sight and because i love you I am going to give whatever it costs in exchange for you. I'm going to pay the price to get you guys back on track and um, seeing life as it should be instead of how it's got to be, at the, how, it's, how it's turned out to be at the moment. So that's the context to that. Um, we're actually going to think next time a little bit more at what God actually has given in exchange for us. But for this week, that's it for now. We need to keep try and keep these videos as short as possible if I can stop my ramblings. Um, so for now, I just want to say thank you for watching and hope to see you again next week.